Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video entry for SM Katam and Connaught for the Energy Efficiency Challenge 2017, held by the Energy Commission of Malaya. Now, let us begin, first of all what is energy efficiency? Let's let this fantastic young woman tell us. Take it away. Efficient energy use, sometimes called energy efficiency, is the goal to reduce the amount of energy required to provide products and services. Fantastic video, that was extremely informative. Energy efficiency should be a habit of every citizen. However, judging by our exorbitant electrical bills, that isn't quite the case. Energy efficiency means using less energy to provide the same result. It could be any type of energy, electrical, heat or chemical. Here's a short story about the consequences of wasting energy. Here are some students who are unable to see the whiteboard clearly due to poor lighting in their class. I know Asians have small eyes, but wow, this is on a whole new level. Moving on. Candle. That's right, candle. These poor students have to light candles to be used as their primary source of light. If that isn't sad I don't know what is. So. What happened? A few years ago, students misused the energy available to them. They refused to turn off the lights even when the room was brighter than their future. Nobody really cared about saving electricity as they weren't the ones paying for it. They took it for granted and simply let precious energy slip away. They played with the lights without any regard for the consequences that had to be paid by the school. Before long, the school ran out of funding and electricity became limited. The students had to find various ways to get by. In the process of doing so, they learned the importance of saving electricity and lived happily ever after. Don't you just love a good ending? Let's take a look at a few ways we can maintain energy efficiency without compromising any comforts in our daily lives. Rainwater is one of the most abundant resources, but it is remains largely unused by most people. Rainwater is not exactly suited for consumption, but it works just fine for other uses like flushing the toilet, watering the plants and washing the toilet. And we all know school toilets are in desperate need of washing. Am I right? Here are some of our efforts to save energy throughout the duration of this competition. School computers have power management features. Make sure control are all set, so they will go into sleep mode. We are not in active field. Do you want to live a life like this? If you don't want to live a life like this, come join us at the Energy Efficiency Challenge 2017. We can make a difference if we start today. That's a wrap. Thank you for watching.